Mm. Dungeon Siege. <laughs> uh, hi, my name's Jed, and uh, welcome to Game Dive. Today, I'm going to be taking a look at the Dungeon Siege trilogy. Um, I've never played any of these games. I've seen them around a little bit. I don't know exactly what they are, like how they play. For some reason in my head, I imagine them to be sort of tower defense games, but I I don't know why. I don't think that's correct. Yeah, so I'm excited to jump into this and see exactly what it is. Um, if you like the video, please leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more content just like this. Let's let's bloody let's see what this bloody start a new game. Get, get me into it. All right, here we go. Uh, I'll be a lady. I'll have a ponytail. There's a lot of shirt choices. Sure, so I'm a, I'm a gray lady. I'm gonna be called the Gracious Gray. <laughs> oh no! He's dead. Senor Skeleton, you are there. All right, there's a diggy dog. So we know it's a good game right away. There she is, Grace is Gray. Oh yeah, she's farming. She's got her Uggs on. <laughs> she's Ugging it up. There'll be a, there'll be a man. There he is. Grandpa! The Krug <laughs> Fucking hate when the Krug attack. Go away, Krug! It's much more cinematic than I expected it to be. <gasps> Krug! He's bloody Krugged off. Got my fighting fists out. There's a Krug right there. <laughs> See you later, mate. Um, beat up this guy. Kill him. Hell yeah, dude. He's got a cudgel and a zap. Oh, my cow, dude. Not my bloody cow. Time to beat up some motherfuckers. <laughs> Whack! Dead. Do I have to keep clicking or does it happen automatically? It's automatic. Okay, that's interesting. I'm, uh, I'm into this. This is all right. Right away, it's quite pleasant. Like, the movement is quite satisfying in a way. Is this... Oh, it is real time with pause. Oh. Hey, look at that. I mean, there, you'd want that to look a little close like cooler but it's a real time with pause game i kind of surprised i haven't heard of this before to be honest oh jeez <laughs> it came out of the bush ah. <laughs> fuck just take the okay now kill that oh. <laughs> i'm into this i think this is uh this is interesting i was worried because sometimes games like this don't work for videos how hard is it to kill a bug all right because i know you get a party oh that's good I know you get a party of people eventually. I know that that's the whole thing with this game. Isn't that? Tattered leather. Did that change? I didn't see. Oh, it is. <laughs> <Ugh. laughs> it's like, I want to know if there's a sneaky secret. I have to know. What's that? There's a little creature. Get him! It's a grimmel. This is a grimmel. Oh, girl. Hey, boys. You've come to the wrong part of town. I got my whacking club out, boys. You got no clue how good I am at whacking. I'm the whack master. Whack master, gracious gray. Yep, I'll kick anyone's fucking asshole directly in. I'm, I don't give a shit. I wonder how much you're expected to fight every enemy, or whether it's just like, move on. The Krug dog. I mean, how, you know, innocent are the nature in this scenario? Probably pretty innocent, right? But anyway. <laughs> um, that's my spell book, so if I put zap in there. Oh, and if I put fire shot. Oh, and if I put burn bot. Uh, oh, I change it to zap. What happens? Zap. Oh, shit. <laughs> Is that doing anything? Eventually. I feel like my club's a better option. Okay, club. Going back to club. Yeah, that, that was pretty efficient. Go fight the boys. Come on, boys. Welcome to pain town. Oh, Enric is dead. Oh, that, I don't think I even hit that guy and he died. I go in here. Would be better. Oh, shit. <laughs> it's, it's so ridiculous. Get out of here, Stinkle and Binkle. Oh, oh, no, stay in there. We want to see what's what's in here. Do we not? Why do you keep, why do you keep trying to leave? Huh? Do we go up the steps? Oh, why do these games try to handle characters going up steps? It doesn't work. Magic armor. Oh, yeah, dude. What's on the bookcase? History of the Crypts. I'll take that. Now I'm going to take a fucking nap, dude. Oh, no, she's trying to leave. To view all overhead map groups just trying to click the mega map. Mega, it's not a mini map, it's a mega map, alright? Oh, we could just play the game like this. I see no reason <laughs> if the game did not be played in this way. This is fine. This is, this is a good way to play the game. I'm getting all the information I need. I can see everything I need to see. I'm still not really seeing an incentive to not play like this, apart from the fact that it's a little ugly. Oh, maybe you don't see some of the niches in the world. Like this hole in the wall. 
there'll be a big scary creature in here for sure. Oh, there it is, it's a bear. Let's save, because I think that bear will probably kick my asshole. I get it. <laughs> Ooh, I don't know. Please, kill this bear. He's almost dead. We're almost there. Oh no, please. Oh my god. Ugh. Run around, run, no, run around, run around, run around, ow! It's almost dead. Please. Yes! I'm amazing at the game. I'm the best. I'm the best in the world. That's it. No one can, no one, no one can d dispute me on this. Oh, I have an amazing amount of health potions. I didn't even need to <laughs> worry as much as I did. Anyway, now my character's got a banging ass. Look at that. Hold on. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. I want a better weapon. I'm sick of this cudgel. Give me a sword. Give me a, give me a, give me something that'll actually do some damage instead of this weird, stupid club. <laughs> Just hit him, please. <laughs> At this point, yeah, there's this, I would say this section's dragging on a bit. Because it's early, it's always early in these games where it, Combat at the start is just you clicking on an enemy while your character whacks it to death. <laughs> That's always going to be the case with these games, so they need to find a way... I think they've done that with more racing games, finding a way to get to the more in-depth combat later. Or sooner, sorry. Because, uh, yeah, this... As much as I'm enjoying this game, this section needs to come to an end. And wouldn't mind clearing out the remaining Krog downstairs. You can help yourself to whatever you need from my stall. He says, go downstairs and fight fight the Krug for me. All right, I'll go downstairs and I'll fight the bloody Krug. Down I go. It's also quite interesting, like that's really interesting to me, how dynamic that is. Most like games of this era, this would be a loading screen. You click on it, it would load, and then you're in the basement. But instead they've elected for it to be more dynamic, which I think is really interesting. I can see why this stuck around as a series because they're going for something mildly more innovative. I think it's kind of cool. Oh. What the fuck? This is his basement. <laughs> oh god, I'm kicking his dick up. No, no, okay, sure. Is he still damaged? Let's just get off of that so that doesn't happen again. Oh, here we go. Mace, however, fantastic. We don't need the fucking cudgel anymore. We have an actual weapon. Fantastic news. You're holding, like, the animation of them running is really funny. There's no, like, tactical, like, strategic anything with the way they run. Just like, I've got my stick, I'm ready to whack. You guys are fucked. I got a mace now? You got no clue what's coming. Come on. You have to hit with it though, I mean. <laughs> I have enough supplies in the cellar to keep me going until this blows out. Mm, okay, I hope so. Because I did take, like, everything. <laughs> like, you know, like everything. So, you know, I hope I hope that's true, sir. <laughs> God, it's just killing everything in one hit. <laughs> uh, oh, shit! I like when the bugs explode. I think that's a satisfying effect. Oh, these zappy boys. It's the zappy men. <laughs> they start, you get close enough, they get, they get to whack him. Oh, this mace is, uh, just wrecking shop. There's no one, absolutely no one stands a chance. Are they called Krug because that's the noise they make for no reason? Oh my god. That guy had a lot of, a lot of stuff. Oh, that one was trapped. <laughs> it didn't get me at all. Again, I'm into this. I'm still into it. I think it's good. I can see the appeal for sure. I can see why they made it quite a bit. I'm curious to see what the, the updated. Because I know, because Dungeon Siege 3, I remember when that released, and I was like, this is odd. This is a strange thing to come out, and I wonder if it's good. Because this is very good. <laughs> I'm enjoying this a lot. It's hard to portray in a video like this because I'm trying to I want it to be funny but there's not a lot of funniness happening <laughs> okay I take that back <laughs> gray wolf but my name's gracious gray why would you want to fight me it should be your friend I have to go this way but you know what's this way a game that asks the question of what's this way and I like that I feel like a game should always ask that question. What's this way? There's a little pot of gold. Hell yeah, dude. I got my little blue cap on. <laughs> I'm ready to get going. Hell yeah, dude. Got my little blue cap on. Blue cap, blue cap, blue cap. 
blue cat. This is a secret way as well. See, I don't think I'm not onto your schemes. Oh, it's nothing. Sometimes I find games like this intimidating. Like when I know if I go off the beaten path, I'm gonna find secrets. I start to get overwhelmed because that becomes all I want to do. I feel like I need to find all the secrets in the little bits, otherwise I'm not playing the game right. I'm not sure if anyone else can relate to that. That's just kind of how I feel, is I tend to turn off games the second I start feeling too overwhelmed. I want to see some Skeleton. If I don't see Skeleton, it's all for nothing. Some low poly Skeleton is exactly what I need in my life. Would a thin cap be better than what I have right now? This is a thin cap with a defensive one. Yeah, at least it looks... <laughs> It looks a little better, but it's not as funny. So, back to the blue cap. Oh, they were inside of each other for a second. That was weird. Here we are. Time to siege a dungeon. Those things are gonna come to life. I knew it. It's like Dark Souls. No, not Dark Souls, Elden Ring. The stupid little golem things in Elden Ring. That bloody come to life. Pain in, pain in your butthole. I love hate relationship with those things. Oh, yes, a skeleton! Look at him. How does he look? Let's, let's give the point. He's a bit janky looking. That's a plus. He's got a weird gray mossy texture. That's kind of a minus. I like a, you know, a sleek bleach white skeleton. That's, that's usually how I go. Um, he doesn't have uh, toes. That's a big minus in my book. He's got to have the little toes. But he does have the arched back of a mischievous skeleton. And that's what I like. He's got all the con all the positives of a mischievous skeleton. Let's see how he fights. Hmm. Seems like just the human animation, but as a skeleton. That's a minus, I think. I give this skeleton. He's about a 6 out of 10 skeleton, I reckon. That's the best I can do. Oh, his bones scatter around. And his death when his bones scatter around, that's kind of cool. You know, I like that. But still, I'd say that it's like a 6.7 out of 10 skeleton. Ow. <laughs> I'm destroying most of these pots. It's literally getting me nothing, but I'm doing it anyway. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> Ow! For some reason I- oh, uh-oh. There's the skeleton captain. Yay! Spellbook. There's gonna be a bunch of enemies in here. Go on then. Wish there was some cool music to go along with. That was kind of an exciting moment, but it's still going for the atmospheric, like, eerie stuff. I'd say the sound design in this game is decent, you know, it does its job, but yeah, I want I want some exciting music. I'm in a I'm in a fucking crypt, dude. I'm doing all kinds of shit in this crypt. And the music's like Oh I died. Whoops, I was not paying enough attention. I'm I'm feeling bored with this one now. <laughs> that that's my gauge, is the second I start feeling bored, <laughs> I have to I have to move on. So this is Dungeon Siege 1, uh, obviously I'm going to play Dungeon Siege 2 after this, so stick around, but I did enjoy this quite a bit, I think it has a lot of potential and I want to see, because I know you get more party members, I don't know how many, but I know you get a lot more. I wish the game opened with that, because running around by yourself is quite boring. When you get more party members in games like this, it tends to open up quite a bit. So yeah, I don't know, this is cool, I'd give this, this is like... It's a pretty strong 7 out of 10, you know, like it's it's very good. I could I could play this to the end probably, but it's not amazing, at least by my standards. Dungeon Siege 2. So far, it's looking worse than the other one. But let's What is this? Would you like to receive periodic exclusive information from gas-powered games? No. Okay, that was fucked. <laughs> And this one you get to pick your race. Look at that guy. He's he's massive. <laughs> he's as big as he's as big as a whale. We're just gonna go with human. I know that's boring, but I wanna be human. You don't get to pick your clothing this time. That's bloody boring. Boring as hell, dude. The gracious gray. That's me. That's our character across these three games. The meeting of a sword and a shield. Oh, Jesus. Oh my god. This isn't Lord of the Rings, all right? It's not. Oh, there's an edge lord. It's me, edgy man. <gasps> oh no! It's Soul Calibur. 
Shit. I have to fight that guy eventually. You know, when push comes to so What the hell? Those must be siege weapons for their dungeon siege. Alright, let's see it. Come on. Let's play the game. Oh! No, still cutscenes. We're on to cutscene number three. <laughs> yes, harpy ass. That's what I like to see. Microsoft Game Studios, I didn't know that. Microsoft Game Studios loves harpy ass. <sighs> Dungeon Siege 2. This is uh, sure going on. Sure seeing this for a long time, aren't we guys? Really glad we've included this. It'll open and a bad guy will walk out, obviously. Or is it gonna be me in there? Oh no, oh yep, yep, there I am. Right. What, so I can, what's this? Okay, this, this, it's a lot going on all at once. Oh, you start off with two people this time. Break them open by right clicking them. Now <laughs> oh, I don't want a tutorial. The other game's tutorial was good because you just fought normal enemies. Dee -dee -dee. I played the other one, so. Oh, jeez. Yes, I know what I'm doing. <laughs> the other one allowed you to swap between weapons. Drag them into... No. So, yeah. So it's a step back in that regard, then. Does the other one let you swap between weapons? This one doesn't. We're not gonna end up abandoning this army or anything like that. No way. What the hell? Uh... <laughs> All right. Right. This is interesting. I think my char the character here with the blue hair is gonna die. That's m that's my feeling. He'll die, and it'll be my motivation to leave this army. That's my prediction. If that doesn't happen, oh well, sue me. Oh. Okay. So now he's off doing his own thing, I guess. Oh, and this one you have to keep clicking. The other one was automatic. This one makes you. Keep clicking. Focus on fire, okay. Right, so there's mode. kind of more interesting tactical elements to the combat in this. They make a greater point on the party-based aspect of it, which I think is good. The other one obviously had party-based combat, but we didn't get to experience it <laughs> because I stopped playing before then. <laughs> which I guess is in a way my fault, but... Yeah. I see you have to keep clicking. It's interesting. But if you keep clicking, she moves around. This is very interesting. I'm, I'm not sure if I like this more or less yet. It's definitely more linear than the other one. The other one's space, opening space was obviously a lot more open. So I know it's, it's interesting to say whether I like this more or less. I just don't know. Definitely faster paced. This, this is interesting for sure. See, look, there's a big weapon on the ground. I could use that, why not? I did see that guy jump down. I saw him. I'm ignoring him. That sword looks a lot like the weapons my father gave us when we were first learning to fight. You should pick it up. You should pick it up. That's two to four though. I've got three to five. I don't, yep. Okay, I've got that now. I don't need it, but I've got it. So thanks. A kind makes the pain worse. Yes, die and leave me a pint of- Okay, why, why did we sign up to this army? Why are we part of these guys? Traitor is fiend in my sights. <laughs> I could. But why does my heart stay my hand? Oh my Perhaps gosh. There's more at play here than I can tell for the moment. <laughs> why does Driven have blue hair? Feels like an aesthetic, like, clash, doesn't it? Still unclear whether we're fighting for the good guys or the bad guys, but... Surprise him! Oh god. Oh my god. <laughs> feeling that something is going to happen. The closer we get to the temple, the stronger I feel it. I'm tired of this. Very well. Since you're so obsessed with it, I'll hold your medallion until we get home. Let's move on. My friend is definitely not going to die in the very close future. Jesus, that's a... That's a big guy. And, uh... Now he's dead. So, there you go. Come on, let's get to the end of this section, yeah? I want to see what else. Alright, here comes, uh... The moment my friend will die. Oh, Jesus Christ, look at that thing. Oh! <laughs> Uh oh. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, Jesus, it's him! It's Soul Calibur! Oh my gosh, she's incredible. He's the best fighter in all of the world. I've never seen a better fighter in my whole life. When can we expect our pay? Our pay? He's gonna kill him! What an asshole! I told you he was the villain. Who could have thunk it? That was. Quite a shocking twist. There's something to be said about, like, this is, to me, quite a visual downgrade. 
Like, the other one had quite a refined look, almost. Because of how simple the other one was, this one then acts as a severe downgrade because they're trying to up the graphics by adding a lot more complexity to the textures and more polygon counts. And to me, what it adds up to is a bit of a muddier looking game, as crazy as that might What do you be. want? We pulled you out from underneath the body of a blue-haired elf. Oh no! He's dead? Alright. Prisoner, eh? <laughs> Drevin is dead? He must have foreseen this. Where are my things? My medallion. Okay. Oh, Jesus. Okay, I'll take all of these things. Alrighty. I'm off to do whatever it was you said. Do, 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 do. Hey, how are you doing? Are you alright, lady? Look at that guy hammering away. He's just really going at it. Oh, he stopped. And back at it. Bang, 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 bang. Alright, alright, alright. I'm off. Down the left. Down it. Let's go. Do, do, do. This is kind of an, like, aesthetically. I like that the... I know it's pretty, probably pretty simple to do, but... I like how this looks. It reminds me... This is so stupid. It reminds me of a level, a level from, uh... I think it's the second level from fucking... I think it was an Xbox launch title called Brute Force. Where you're on these treetop things fighting sentient alligator men. <laughs> That's what this reminds me of. Oh, teleports. When you activate a teleport, a list of teleporters that your party has proved that. Da, 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 da. Welcome, friend. I'm standing here so I can explain teleporters. What is the pitch? Oh, that's not, I'm going there first, actually. That seems very important. I'm not allowed. And with this. Greetings. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, cool. Now, now I know everything there is to know about that, for sure. It's evil. Our guard's gonna die. I know. <laughs> what do we look like now? Oh, it's not even as silly. I gotta wear a blue cap in the other one that looked fucking ridiculous. That was my favorite thing in the whole world. Oh, of course. Thank you for telling me. <laughs> oh, Jesus, look at that guy. You reckon we can take that? Oh, we can take him for sure. Oh, what was that? Right, so if you hold down right click, then attacking happens pretty instantaneous. It's a bit more an involved thing. It's like Diablo, kind of. It seems to be a common thing in this type, this time frame. It's just everyone loved Diablo with all their little hearts, so every game became Diablo. <laughs> oh, what the? Did I die? Oh, I fucking died. Okay, this is bad. This is, uh, yep. Okay, one of your, one of your party members has died. Okay, this is a little weird and confusing. I'm gonna stop it here. This is Dungeon Siege 2. It's really interesting, this one. I, I can't say that I like it more than the other, but it gets into the meat of it much quicker. I found it harder. I think I, I don't know, it's hard to say whether I liked it more or less. I liked the other one aesthetically, and it felt very satisfying to play. This one doesn't have the same satisfaction, I don't think. But maybe that's because this party system wasn't, like, initially in the first one. So I was just playing it, you know, by myself. But now that I've got a party member, the game kind of changes. And maybe the first one has that as well. I just don't know. But it's interesting. I think music-wise, it's a lot better. It's a big improvement there. It definitely feels more refined. It's hard to say. I'll give this one, like, a 7 as well. It's like a 7. <laughs> oh, actually, it loses a point. Because I didn't see any Skeleton. That's a that's a pretty big disadvantage, I think. No Skeleton. It's it's got a it's got a 6.9 out of 10 because of no Skeleton in the first bit of the game. So yeah, there you go. Obsidian. What? Oh, you didn't tell me Obsidian. You did not tell me Obsidian is involved with this. Oh, what the fuck? I was about to go. All right, Dungeon Siege three. Last, but I wonder if it's least. Well, now we know it's made by Obsidian. It'll obviously be the best one. I mean, this is gonna be interesting. We'll, we'll see how this goes then, because yeah, as I said about the other two, I like them. They're good. They're good games. I wish there was a bit more depth in them. I, I feel like the com combat needs to be a little bit more, not limited, but like, there's too much of it. <laughs> I like combat, but you need to intersperse it around. Take Control, for example, if you've ever played Control. That game's combat is sublime. They kind of sparse out the combat in Control a little bit, so it feels a lot better when you finally get to it. It's not 
overrun with combat. It's a they build up the lore and the story really nicely, so that when you're not in combat, you're at least exploring a really interesting and beautiful and it's kind of scary world. I feel like some of these games need to kind of meet that middle ground almost. Obsidian made this. I I can't believe I didn't know that. Obsidian, just so you know, Obsidian is my favorite game developer. Like that's undisputed. Every game Obsidian makes is amazing and beautiful and perfect in its own right, I think, even if it is quite janky. Like, uh, what was it? Alpha something espionage RPG. Oh, it's a select character. You don't, do you make them? No, you, you pick them. Okay, that's fine. I can get with that. They got guns in this one. Obviously, I can't put in the Gracious Grey. That's very unfortunate to me, because I would love to play as the Gracious Grey. But instead, we'll go as uh, this one, because I feel like she's the closest. Ever since I found you. Oh, it's like Border Zone. <laughs> that looks like a man. Finally, a connection. Uh, we're in, I guess. Oh, okay, this is weird. Unlike the other ones, I can move with the arrow like the WSAD, but I can also move with the mouse by going like this, and then to left click is to attack. It's definitely odd. It doesn't really fall in line with the others, but let's just, let's just see, huh? Does this one pause? No. Mm, I don't know. <laughs> I like an RPG with pause. I do remember when this came out. It was kind of, I never played it, but I remember when it released. It's kind of a split opinion I saw, but people seem to dig it for the most part. It was in the big age of like when Dragon Age was out and like Skyrim and all those types of games were coming out. So it was really hard to properly stand out. Several arrows are protruding from this man's back. He must have died from being shot by arrows. This is so, this like, it's one of those things you never thought would become as much of a vibe as it's now become. It's like the 2012, 2011 to 2015. Oh, these are baddies. Are those ragdolls? Yes! I love a game with ragdolls. <laughs> it's such a specific feeling, games in this era, where it was indie games, the concept of indie games was only really just coming to prevalence. So when games like this came out, people couldn't really make heads or tails of them. Bastion, I think, was the first game to really make indie games a bit more common. Alright, so this is definitely going for more Diablo than um, Baldur's Gate. Alright, so I got a spinning kick. Holy hell. We press Q. Oh, Christ, okay. All right, back to kicky mode, I guess. Is that a toe? What is that? It's a swift bracer. It's dead. Are you all right? Oh, it's Troy Baker. Nice. See, this is very, Maybe it's very Mass Effect, will... isn't it? Damn, they found us again. We can't wait any longer. Yeah, I'm, I'm coming, dude. I, yep, there definitely isn't just money around that I really want. So come on, there's no time to waste. But I have to smash some boxes. It's very important that I do this. I have bills to pay, you know. Breastplate. I wonder how different it'll look. There I am there. It looks exactly the fucking same, bitch. Hell yeah. Go on. <laughs> Light the fuse. Ignore the fact that my voice is very Troy Baker. I'm the most Troy Baker character in any video game ever. Oh, I need the money. <laughs> Don't fade out. Oh, okay. <laughs> it seems like a really odd place to end that. It was also this era of like bringing back older games. This is obviously very much a symptom of that. Dungeon Siege 1 and 2 were quite old games by the time this came out. So it was trying to, this idea of bringing back older games and trying to modernize them. There were so many games like that that came out. Um, Max Payne 3, Deus Ex Human Revolution, this. Uh, nothing else off the top of my head. <laughs> but it was like this concept of, of coming up with old games and trying to modernize them for what was modern then. And it kind of, a lot of them didn't quite work because people are saying we want these old games to come back. But what they're also saying is we want to play those old games as they were then, but with more modern technology. And they just said, okay, well, we're just going to make a completely different game <laughs> with the same IP. And people are going, no, we don't want this. Like, the only great example of that was Deus Ex Human Revolution, where when that came out, that was essentially the same game as the original Deus Ex, except for a few things. Quite a few things were changed, and it changed the vibe quite a bit. I love that game, but it doesn't quite work the same. 
Um, H Bomberman did a really good video on that, so obviously watch his instead of listen to me ramble. But yeah, and Max Payne 3 changed it completely. Like Max Payne 3 is not really the same game as the other Max Payne games. And this is kind of the same thing where it's kind of like the other Dungeon Sieges, but it ta it's already I can see it's changing too much. But what's back here? He's like, follow me. But I'm always like, what's back here? What are you trying to hide from me, mate? Nothing? Uh, what's this? Uh-huh. Goodies. Reinforced boots. Exactly what I thought. You're trying to hide from me the most powerful item in the big in the game. Reinforced boots. I knew it all along. You can't hide shit from me, mate. I'm sort of into this. This isn't... Look, I... <laughs> it's just not the other game. The first one was really interesting to me, and I thought it was really fun. It's just not that game. But I'm really- I'm enjoying this for what it is, for the most part. Some decent coin for this job after all. That's Troy Baker as well. <laughs> for entering Lively. All right. This is a bad guy. Come on, Bogdan. You gotta die, dude. Time to die, Bogdan. Yeah, I've destroyed you, mate. Here in the- Level up! Hell yeah! But how do I- Do I get anything for leveling up? Abilities, right? Right? Alright, well, whatever. Fuck it. Oh, level up! <laughs> I beat the game to the ability screen. <laughs> Confirm. Tutorial. You can... What? <laughs> um, good. Alright. Now what? What's happening now? Sure. What's... Alright, great. It's still so visually dark. It doesn't need to be this dark, does it? That's worse than I thought. You didn't think it was gonna hurt to be shot? I didn't realize you were fucking stupid. Cause it's like these old, older games tend to give you such a high level of control over like the camera and like your moveset and this one, it like in that translation from old to modern, they try to take all that stuff away and it just makes for a far less interesting game. It appears to me like this kind of stuff, especially Obsidian, almost take these types of projects as a way to improve later you know like it's a lesson to be learned here about the importance of giving players more agency rather than less a case in point is the pillars of eternity games because those games are phenomenal this is the music is not matching <laughs> what's happening right now spiders don't ragdoll what's the point why is there a clock on the screen why, why is there a clock on the screen just another thing like in my way What? What happened to him? You later, doofus. Not since the mercenaries got it's Troy Baker as well. And what? Here we are. Here's the town. I just want to be left alone. <laughs> this is meant to be an old woman, but it's a young woman that they put like a stone texture over her face. <laughs> you like that guy? Why are you up there, sir? What benefit do you have to stand right there? Seems like an odd place to just stand around, does it not? <laughs> like, what's the why? <laughs> oh, okay. All right. All right. Fair enough. 130 gold. I can't complain. Never mind. Especially a woman of my blood. <laughs> it's a guy it's freaking out. <laughs> An army of listeners. Hey, dude. Hey, Anton. I everyone in the Legion was killed. I heard that I have a job I need you to do. What is it? All right. It's it's that you know. Go up. What do you want done? I need a thing. All right. Fine. I'll. Fine. I got new boots, boots of valor. Do they look different? It's so hard to tell. I don't know whether it looks different. I hate, I, ugh. It's so silly, but the cosmetics in these games, it's important to me. Of course, I yeah. need proof. I'll do it. Head east out of town. You're the Head ugliest man to ever <laughs> live. Look at the hair coming out of your face. You look like a freak. See you later. It's very linear. You can even, like, I don't know what the point of a mini map is on a game where the map literally just shows a straight line. It just is, it's a very interesting choice. I, I wonder what the thought behind that is. These guys are kicking my asshole in, I'll tell you that much. Maybe this is bad. This is bad. Ah! Ow! Okay, we're running away from that. Oh, just fuck off, please. I'm doing nothing to these people, please! <laughs> this is too, I'm gonna die. What happens when you die? Just brings me back here. Alright, so I'm gonna stop it there. This is Dungeon Siege 3. That was all three Dungeon Sieges. I, this is interesting, right? Because it's... It's like I was saying, it's essentially like a, an imitation of the first two. Kind of Dungeon Siege 1 and 2, but not quite. I would say, I would say this feels 
empty almost compared to even Dungeon Siege 2, which had a lot going on. I didn't like the visuals in that game, but this one at least, like, the people don't have a lot of character, the quests aren't amazingly interesting. There isn't a lot of draw to this world. The second one was interesting how it started, how you were on the, the wrong side, essentially. And then you're up in this treetop thing, and you're doing the, like, that was, it's an interesting premise. And this, the first game kind of had an interesting thing as well. But it just, it's opening section went on way too long, to the point where I didn't even get to the end. <laughs> and it's important, it's important to, if you're going to put your game in a medieval setting, you need to do something with that to make it stand out. And the second game definitely accomplished that. The first game was interesting in its combat ideas and RPG systems and kind of how innovative it was. Um, and the second game was more interesting for exploring the depth of its lore. And this one is just like, yep, this is Dungeon Siege, I guess. So I don't know, I, I'd have to give this, this is like a six, you know? Yeah, anyway, and music and atmosphere, I mean, it's all just kind of stop standard stuff. I can't really comment too much about sound design or music, because it's all pretty normal. Average stuff you'd see at the time, I don't think it's doing anything special. It's not really worth mentioning. So yeah, I would say it's about a 6 out of 10. But anyway, if you liked this video, please like it, and subscribe for more, because I do more videos like this uh, every fortnight. I'm trying to, I'm thinking of ways to branch out into other content. Um, I really want to do videos on the Paradox 4X games. I think they're really interesting and I think it'd be interesting for me to talk about because they're not games that I'm particularly good at so I feel like that's an interesting perspective but let me know if you're interested or if you have any other ideas for videos let me know anyway my name's Jed uh, I hope you're having a nice day catch you later